What's up, y'all? It's Wednesday, April 22nd, 2015. I'm Euro Garrett, living out my dreams, broke is not an option, and this is DX Daily. First, fresh off the release of his sophomore album, Love Story Tuesday, Yellow Wolf spoke with Hot New Hip Hop about the album. During the interview, Catfish Billy spoke on the project's concepts. Here's what he had to say. I've alluded to this style for a long time, whether it had been making a reference to it in a verse or at the BET Awards with Big Boy wearing a Hank Williams shirt. I've kind of planted seeds about where I was going or headed. Right before Trump music, I had a full band. I was doing this project called Arena Rap, but it wasn't clicking. It was a little ahead of its time. So we just went and we did Trump music and it got me all the way to Shady Records. This album was important to say, all right, we're gonna close the door. This is artists only. No one is even allowed to have an opinion other than myself. When I decide I like it or not, then I allow someone else to have an opinion about it that I was working with. It took five months to get that first song. 40 ideas before I had a song that I felt like was of the caliber. After that, the album started flowing better. I'm really proud of it. Any opinion on Yellow Wolf's latest? Visit the site for the full story. Second, in celebration of 420, Waka Flocka actually announced that he was running for president of the United States of America. Here's what he told Rolling Stone. I'm very pleased to announce today on 420, the best day of the year, I will be running for president. The first thing I'm gonna do when I get in office is legalize marijuana. If Walker becomes president, will it look like this? I'm the head of the motherfucking state, nigga. Thank you. Bringing change, nigga. What the fuck you thinking, nigga? I won't die for this shit no matter what they say. Understand. Secret service, but I got my own escape. Now, Waka won't be old enough to run for president until 2024. Think he'll run then? Hit the comment section. Finally, in our exclusive, I got to speak with Bishop Nauru about his upcoming debut on Mass Appeal. The Untitled Project is being executively produced by Nas. During the interview, he spoke on Nas' advice given to him. He pretty much be telling me, like, don't be afraid to explore different stuff, try different stuff, and always keep, like, keep it raw. Don't be afraid to use like both sides of, of the inspirations that come. You know what I mean? The positive and the negative things that come to mind. Don't be afraid to express both of them. So you kind of just kind of said just express yourself. You know what I mean? Just do what you were doing when you were in school. <laughs> just, just express yourself. Well, I was pretty much going in that direction anyway of just expressing myself. Like more of a poetry thing. So... For the album, I'm pretty much going for just a. I want it to sound as musical as possible. I know that sounds cliche, but I just want it to sound nice to me. What I like listening to, I want to be able to listen to it whenever I want. You know what I mean? That that project that I just dreamed of making since a kid, pretty much. Guidance from Nas shouldn't hurt, right? You know where to go. And these are today's most interesting hip hop headlines. And for more music and news, Hit up hiphopdx.com.